We have today's lunch break. We're making an Irish staple for this month, the month of March. Corned beef sandwiches are on the menu everywhere. Head butcher and chef at Publican Quality Meats, Rob Levitt, is here to tell us how to make it correctly. Because corned beef is ruined in so many places. I walked up and said, this looks good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we make corned beef. Um, I know uh, Paul Kahn, our, our fearless leader, really loves corned beef, so we try and we try and make him proud every year. Um, and it's something that we have in the case throughout the year. And I think the, the key is, aside from having really beautiful product, and this is a, a brisket from a local farm, it's knowing um, kind of which pieces make better corned beef. So this is the whole brisket. This piece here, it, the, sort of the fattier end, that's what's called the point. And then the other side is called the flat. And if you separate them, the flat is going to be anywhere from five to eight pounds. It's gonna have a nice thin layer of, flat, of fat on the top, but then the rest of it is gonna be pretty lean. Ah, see this is the butcher in you who knows yes, these things. Because exactly. it is a fatty cut of meat and I think a lot Very. of people use the fatty and then it just gets yeah. mushy. And sometimes, sometimes the point is great if you're doing barbecue, like Texas style barbecue, you oh, want all sure. that fat in the middle because this, a smoker is a sort of a dry cooking environment. And so it'll break down the meat and make it tender and delicious, but that fat will kind of baste it from the inside and keep it moist. With corned beef, if you're either boiling it or steaming it or slow cooking it, right. so you can, so first you brine it, so all these spices that we have here, um, you know, with, along with some salt and some brown sugar, you boil all that in water and you make what's called a brine. Okay, and tell you, us which spices so are you have, using. So we have my, my whole recipe here, so we have um, uh, black pepper, mustard seed, coriander, some chili, some bay leaf, we also have a little cinnamon, some clove, celery seed, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. Wow. Um, all right, so you boil that together. So yeah, you boil all that together, and then once it's completely cool, you completely submerge your brisket in that, and you leave it for eight to 10 days. Um, yeah, and it's, yeah, corned <laughs> beef is like, so the, the whole thing here is that we're making a very, very simple sandwich, but sort of the sum of the parts is what makes it so good. So, you know, we do this and we, we have big barrels in our, uh, our walk-in cooler full of corned beef that are is covered in this brine. So it soaks in there. Some people will actually take these big uh, injectors and inject the brine right into the meat so that it goes all the way through to the middle. Um, but yeah, it soaks all this up and that's what gives it that sort of corned beef flavor. That's ah. what it's sort of, the brine is similarly what gives ham its hammy flavor. It's all kind of what goes into the brine and how right. long you soak it. And that's kind of what gives it that pink color. That's why um, you're here today. So yeah. we have enough time for St. Patrick's exactly. Day, which is so, such a staple um, for them. Or you can just come to PQ and get a sandwich. Exactly, <laughs> um, right? And the bread is also important, right, that you're going to pair with it, I think. Everything. So I'm very lucky that I work with uh, an amazing bakery. You know, Public and Quality Bread makes the best bread in the city. If Absolutely, not the country. hands down. And so this is their uh, their seeded rye, which makes an amazing, is an, makes an amazing sandwich. They also, um, you got to kind of look out for it, but they do a marble rye every once in a while that is really outstanding and my favorite thing for this sandwich. And I think if I'm lucky, I think they're going to make me a marble rye for St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, um, yeah, okay, fingers so, crossed, because yeah, then we can get crossed. them too. And then, um, and then good mustard. Wait, um, you have a green mustard. I have a green mustard. <laughs> so, you know, you can use any mustard you want, but because we're on TV and it's always fun to be cute, I brought, this is a tarragon mustard, but it's bright green for St. Patrick's Day. Perfect. So, um, and, you know, the flavor of tarragon is pretty pleasant. Um, and so, and that's really kind of, that's, that's it. So we've got a little cast iron pan. We, uh, we toast our bread in butter. So we get, I only toast it on one side so it gets nice and crispy on the outside, but the inside stays tender so it doesn't oh, tear up your mouth. Right. And then we have our mustard and then a nice big pile of corned beef that we slice nice and thin. I mean, look at the way that came out. Not at yeah. all like you typically get. Sure. Let's make a couple so that the crew can have some. Oh. You know, I want to stay in their, good, in their favor. <laughs> yeah. Right? We'll make a few more. And that's it. And then, you know, the sort of the ASMR thing, right? The, you hear that oh, crunch? Oh, I love that. And then, then there you go. It's, it's simple. It's nice and meaty. Little, and that's little, the way you serve it, that mustard. thick. Yeah. That and you've thick, got that absolutely. on the menu now, right? Uh, that will be on the menu. The corned beef sandwich will be on the menu uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I think it's 15th, 16th, and 17th. So 17th being St. Patrick's Day. So okay. we're going to run it. You know, for people during their during their lunch break on Friday and then right. Saturday, Sunday, they want to come by the shop for brunch. They can get a corned beef sandwich. Yeah, we're looking at pictures of the yeah. shop right now for folks who haven't been. Tell us a little bit about it because it really is. I mean, the name is perfect. Quality. Yeah. <laughs> when and you think of meat. That's what we'd like. We know that we're not the only butcher shop in town, um, but our focus really is on quality. So, like this, you know, this far the farm that raised this brisket is in Ottawa, Illinois. 
Um, you know, and we, you know, we work with them. We work with uh, Slagle Farm, which is in uh, downstate. All of our meat's coming from small family farms. Most of it's coming in as actual whole animals, and we bring it into the basement and butcher it. Oh, there's the um, marble you wanted, right? Wasn't yeah, that, yep, the marble? That's, that was the marble, right. Um, <laughs> But you know, we, we make all this stuff. So if you come into PQM and you have a sandwich, you're getting bread from our bakery and you're getting ham that we made or you're getting salami that we made or you're getting mortadella that we made. Um, like everything is made by us at, with just the best ingredients we can find. And that's, that's really what we're all about is, is sourcing and, and hand making all the, just the best stuff. You do all the work and we get all the benefits. Thank you so much. <laughs> My this pleasure. was great and really good ideas if we wanted to do this at home. Yep. You can check out 825 West Fulton Market, Chicago. Online, you can find them at publicanqualitymeats.com. We're going to post the recipe, or if you want to watch the segment again and hear all of the wonderful tips, that will be at wgntv.com slash midday.